Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tina and today I'm going to be doing my uh, quarterly goals. I haven't done, I haven't checked in with them in two months and it's time to do the quarter three goals. So we're going to see where we're at and what priorities have changed um, and which ones need to be brought up to a higher priority. Um, I will probably be decorating after I'm done out of the fun florals just because they're bright and fun. Um, this sheet is one that I have made myself. If you want something like this, I'm not going to be selling this one because I got the inspiration from Squared Plans. So if you would like something like this, I will see if I can't link it um, down below for her um, Etsy printout for this. I'm not going to take, um, you know, take credit where... I'm going to give it where it needs to go. It, she's fabulous, wonderful at um, printouts and um, inserts for your planner. So I would highly suggest going over to Squared Plans if you want something like this. So these are my yearly goals, okay? And then this is my quarter two goals. So I'm going to go over. So Keep up scripture reading. Um, I've been doing that, but that is going to be a continual thing. Um, I am working through a group with a group that um, we are reading the whole Bible from cover to cover in one year. Uh, learn more about herbs and both culinary and medicinal, medicinally. I have been doing that. I have been doing more. Um, Master Gardener classes in that, so, but that will probably keep over this way. Um, blood work done, I'm not going to do that anymore. I've talked to my doctors and we're just, I'm going uh, in a different way. So, um, implement supplements, I have done that and they have been doing really well. Lower sugar. This is where I think we all struggle when I want to lower my sugar intake. Um, I am lowering my sugar intake. I just haven't lowered it like I would want to. Um, but I am having grace with myself, so I'm going to count that as a win. Um, move. I'm going to forward that. Uh, and... This one I did not do, but I kept stretching for the most part throughout the entire last three months. Um, finances, using cash when possible and working on savings and paying down our credit card. So I'm going to count those as wins. Considering that I have not checked in and had consistent planning in the last two months, I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, business stuff. Be consistent. I have not done that and I have not built up Etsy like I'd want. I did not plan anything out and I haven't been doing that very much. So you can see with um, farm and home priorities what falls by the wayside um, and I really do not like that. I'm trying to build this up. It's a little bit slower going than I would like. But um, it is what it is. So uh, let's see. So this I'm going to say continue. Scripture reading. And then um, let's see. Keep learning. What is wrong with my pen? Herbs and plants. And then um, I might come back to that. But for my health, um, keep up supplements. And then um, lower sugar because that is a ongoing um, and then I'm going to do move again move 
and that's going to be stretch daily. I, I really want to do that daily. And then um, work out. And this is going to be easier. And I think the last quarter has been hard on me uh, to focus on because I had a graduate this year and I still have not gotten my rhythm back down since we moved two and a half years ago. Um, so I'm going to say a three times a week minimum for my health because I really want to keep that. Um, I want to build that up. I went to a masseuse for the first time ever in my life and I absolutely loved it. My body felt so much better um, over the last um, week that I really want to keep that going. Uh, so let's see. I'm trying to think. I'm looking at my yearly goals here. Um, exercise reducer. Okay. So finances, we're going to come down here and I may come back up, but I don't want to overwhelm myself with, um, trying, you know, trying to implement new habits or fix lagging habits. Um, so use cash. impossible. And I do this, um, use cash when possible. You might be asking why, because you're more aware of what you are spending instead of just swiping a card. It is so easy to just swipe the card and just blindly swipe it and not even realize how much money is passing through your fingers as opposed to when you hand over cash to pay for things. Um, and it's not that hard. I go to the ATM and I just withdraw however much I want. Or if I need bills broken down, I go into the bank and I just get them broken down. Um, and it's, I'm going to keep working on savings. And then, um, Pay down the HELOC that we have. And surprisingly, I got a good chunk put on that, even though we had to go and buy a new car unexpectedly. So <laughs> that one was um, a little bit of a, you know, I'm like, oh, that's great. It wasn't planned, but it is what it is. So, um, so, we're sorry. okay, breathe. Okay certain cash again. Um, okay. So for business, I am restructuring planning. And goals. And that I'm doing in that section of my planner. Um, let's see. Consistent videos because I do want to keep them consistent um, because it works best with the algorithm. And then you guys know um, that you know on these days at this time you'll see something. Um, now what that might be because things are changing up um, and priorities and trying not to become stagnant in what I'm doing, um, but I'm also trying not to make things harder on myself by stopping and filming and stopping and filming and um it's it's a little bit harder in the background um for things like farming out on on the barn and um doing all the things so it's harder than you would think at times um okay so i want to start posting on Instagram because I have been lagging on that and I'm sorry. Um, let's see, grow. Etsy. Content. Because I have things sitting here, I just need to finalize and get them formatted. Um, 
and then that way I can get them up to you. So I'm trying to think. I want to say I think that's pretty much it and I'm going to be a little bit nicer to myself um, on these days because finance wise I'm just trying to save and <clears throat> pay down the debt that we have and save because we have to re resupply our emergency fund as well um, and that's slow going because we have to uh, pay down the HELOC so looking over my yearly goals I think I think I've hit most everything and if something comes up um, I will obviously add it and then what I need to do is get more consistent with um, doing my monthly goals because then once I get them broken down and I think this for this this is going to be a big part of getting everything else to fall in line this I've been working on oh sorry it has been a week um I came home twice from the fair and went straight to bed like at 7 30 8 o'clock and I was out because it was just so t exhausting between the heat and all the stuff that had to be done um the the workouts and stuff I really need to focus on that um so I think I want to use I think I'm going to use these pink ones just because they're very happy and bright and I think that will nicely set in for the season and then when it comes to quarter four we'll, we'll just do something then, we'll do something different. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple of these. Oops. So I'm going to do that and I need more scissors. There we go. Let's see. Let's go over to the back. I'm much better this way. And I don't, you don't need to decorate. I just decorate because I like my pages pretty. Um, and you'll see here I don't do a whole lot. I just kind of Add a little here and add a little there and yep. let's see there we go let's see if I can't get it and that looks a little odd but maybe if I can get some flowers down there it'll look better And I am kind of excited to start doing the weekly ones again, but I need to get my month rolling for July before I start doing more because I think it's just um, easier to kind of get that rolling. Um, it gets my brain straight and it tells me how I can implement things in. So I'm going to take this. I think I'm going to put it here and then I'll take one of these and put it there. Nope. Do that. And this one can go here and I kind of want to finish that up there so I'm not going to do this because then it kind of closes it in too much um, set that aside and I think I'm going to do this small one here that one's a different flower on that page and this again this is from what book did I pick fun florals um, so do 
this because I kind of want the florals in there. There we go. So see that decorates up that side and then by a using the extra I can finish off the edges here and it kind of just makes it a little decorative and pretty and it's not too much and I still have room to add things if I want so um, I hope this helps you I hope this inspires you because I think goal goal planning and writing things out um, for the most part, don't take my last two months as an example, but for the most part, if you can get it written out and you hand write it and then you check back monthly, weekly, quarterly, then it really helps you um, maybe not necessarily achieve all your goals, but get closer to that step by step, depending on how long term your goals are. So um, I hope that you are setting goals for yourself and growing in um, who you are and what you are doing. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.